Huawei recently held its new product launch event for the second half of the year in Shenzhen, where it unveiled the second-generation mass-produced flagship, the triple-folding Mate XT's ultimate design. What's truly noteworthy is that, for the first time in years, Huawei openly disclosed details about its new-generation Kirin chip at the event. For the past several years, Huawei has remained completely silent about its chips during phone releases. Now, after a four-year hiatus, the fact that Huawei can once again introduce a Kirin chip on stage is no small matter. It signifies that Huawei has completely broken through the foreign technology blockade. According to the information released, the chip announced at the event is the Kirin 9020. It uses Huawei's self-developed Taishan architecture and is produced via China's independent and controllable chip manufacturing supply chain. Its performance is said to be on par with Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. This indicates that Huawei's Kirin chips, from the underlying design architecture to the manufacturing process, are now completely under its own control. Back in September 2019, the Kirin 990 was the world's first flagship 5G SoC chip. In October 2020, the Kirin 9000 became the world's first 5 nanometers 5G SoC. However, because the United States demanded that TSMC cease production for Huawei, the Kirin 9000 became the last of its kind, a swan song. But in just over three years, Huawei has managed to bring the Kirin back. In a complete reversal of fortune, Huawei has now officially announced the new model at its launch event. Ever since the return of the Kirin 9000S chip in August 2023, Huawei had maintained a policy of not openly discussing chip-related information at its phone launches. This sparked widespread curiosity, even prompting investigations from the US, which yielded few results. A teardown analysis of Huawei's phones, conducted by Bloomberg in collaboration with the international professional firm Tech Insights, revealed that the chip inside is a product manufactured using Chinese technology and showcases the characteristics of a 7 nanometers chip. Just years ago, Chinese companies had never demonstrated the ability to produce such advanced chips. This was a development that no American company had anticipated. The technological progress China has shown in chip manufacturing has far surpassed the expectations of the U.S. government. For an administration that has consistently relied on sanctions to suppress China's development, this is extremely bad news. During the Biden administration, the U.S. enacted the CHIPS Act and simultaneously announced stricter sanctions on Chinese companies, prohibiting China from obtaining technology more advanced than 14 nanometers. The goal was to suppress China's chip technology, keeping it about seven years behind the United States. However, Chinese companies have now developed a more advanced 7 nanometers chip. In an interview with CCTV, Tech Insight's vice chair, Dan Hutchison, stated that the new Kirin chip possesses advanced 7 nanometers characteristics. He estimated the gap with the international standard is about 2 to 2.5 nodes, which translates to a time gap of 3 to 5 years. In other words, the advanced chips now developed by Chinese companies are, at most, only 5 years behind the global cutting edge. This is a much better outcome than the U.S. government had ever envisioned. Peter Elstrom, TMT News Director at Bloomberg, commented, what China has done is prove that they can in fact manufacture a 7 nanometers chip domestically. This is a monumental step forward for China. It also demonstrates that China can achieve technological progress even under controversial circumstances. The US has been trying to stop Chinese companies from advancing, which is fundamentally a flawed idea. Singapore's Lian Hezaobao previously reported that Huawei's latest chip still uses a 7 nanometers process the same technology found in the Mate 60 Pro that shocked U.S. officials two years ago. Meanwhile, the industry leader, TSMC, has already begun mass production of 2 nanometers chips, which is three generations ahead of Huawei's 7 nanometers. Since launching its domestic 7 nanometers 5G chip in 2023, the technological improvement for Chinese firms has been limited. The lack of EUV lithography machines is the core bottleneck restricting the further development of China's chip industry. However, Huawei is continuing to optimize its products by integrating software and hardware, and with national support, is gradually incorporating more domestic components to build a localized supply chain. Alan Estevez, the U.S. Under Secretary of Commerce for Industry and Security, testified before Congress, stating, For us, we can't have a false sense of security we must clearly recognize that China is catching up fast. Although we currently predict its advanced chip production volume is relatively small, 
We cannot afford to be complacent because we know China's goal is the global market. Looking at the Mate 60 series, it was clear that besides the chip, components like the camera lenses and memory chips were still sourced from overseas suppliers. Fast forward to the Pura 70 series. An iFixit teardown of the Pura 70 Pro revealed that its NAND flash memory chip was packaged by Huawei's own high silicon, and many other components came from Chinese suppliers. This marked a significant increase in domestic sourcing compared to previous models. Sharia Mokhtari, lead technician at iFixit, commented on this, saying, when you open up the smartphone and see that everything is made by Chinese manufacturers, it's all about self-sufficiency for China. Now, with the Pura 80 series, particularly the Pura 80 Ultra, the main camera, wide-angle lens, and dual telephoto lenses are all sourced from the domestic brand Smartway. This marks the first time a flagship phone in its premium price range has used a purely domestic camera lens supplier. In an interview, iFixit noted, Although Huawei's processor chip hasn't seen a major leap, Chinese companies have been relentlessly pushing the development and replacement of technology with domestic alternatives. Chinese tech companies like Huawei are forces that should not be underestimated on the international stage. The fact that a Chinese company, while under heavy sanctions, could quietly launch a 5G phone with a domestically produced 7 nanometers chip proves that it has been diligently conducting R&D behind the scenes. An opponent with such unknown capabilities is the most formidable of all. The Financial Times published an article stating that in September, China delivered two shocking messages to the world. Its military strength is formidable, and it continues to develop cutting-edge technology to protect its national security. And its companies have made significant strides in the chip industry, defying and breaking U.S. sanctions. Seeing this, shouldn't U.S. politicians be red-faced? On September 3rd, China held a grand military parade, showcasing numerous independently developed, state-of-the-art military products. Many of these items were being shown in public for the first time, with some possessing a global strike range, which stunned officials at the Pentagon. Immediately following this, on September 4th, China's Huawei launched its second triple-folding phone and openly announced on stage that the device was powered by the Kirin 9020 chip. This was the first time a Kirin chip was featured at a Huawei launch since the Mate 40 series in 2020. According to Chinese media analysis, Huawei's decision to once again openly discuss its chip signifies the formal return of the Kirin processor. It also signals that the Kirin chip has achieved self-sufficiency and is no longer constrained by foreign restrictions. By publicly mentioning the Kirin 9020, Huawei is also signaling that it is continuing its product iteration following a clear naming convention. It also announces that Kirin chips are now officially for sale on the open market, meaning their production capacity, yield rates, and power efficiency have reached a quantifiable and stable level, returning to a more normal phase of development. According to a report by the U.S. Semiconductor Industry Association, America's domestic chip manufacturing has been in steady decline since 1990. In 1990, the U.S. manufactured 37% of the world's chips. By 2025, that market share has dwindled to a meager 11%. In contrast, mainland China's chip manufacturing has shown gradual growth since 2005, rising from a 7% global market share to 24%. Although statistics may vary, the trend of decentralized manufacturing hubs is clear. The global semiconductor landscape is evolving from a single-center model to a multi-center one. With each new mass-produced model, Huawei and the Chinese supply chain are sending a clear message. While a technology gap still exists, China is back in the high-end race, and its pace is steadier and faster than before. As for how big this breakthrough truly is, only time will provide a clearer answer.